Well, hey, Dave, how's it going? Pretty good. Yeah? What yeah. are you up to? Oh, I mean, just getting vaccinated and stuff. <laughs> yeah, know? that's exciting. Yeah. Well, I yeah. Um, so we're here. We wanted to talk a little bit about um, A Mild Case of Everything. You recorded this album in 2020 um, in your home studio. I mean, what was that experience like? I feel like, um, did you have a lot of discipline? Did you work on when you felt like it? Did you force yourself in there for eight hours a day? What was it like kind of making this album at home? Uh, it was it was nice. Um, I mean, it was it was difficult, obviously, to get help at first. Um, you know, everyone the beginning of the pandemic was so different, and um, ever no one knew what it was, and everyone was more scared. Um, and I wrote on my four track, which I haven't done in a long time because I'm not very good with Pro Tools or computers for that matter. But um, so that was kind of fun to do it do it that way. And uh, one of the songs. I didn't keep a ton from that. I, I kept those sessions, but one of them made it onto my record. And uh, that was fun how that came about. And just to like do it all myself, very primitive. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what um, what was sort of your schedule like sort of for the recording? I mean, did you just do it when you felt inspired or did it come in like a burst of energy or what, what was the sort of the process like for you? Usually in bursts, I kind of work that way. I've been that way with everything. If I'm if I'm really into something, I kind of obsess about it, and then go on to something else. Um, when I was really little, it was a, maybe it might be a video game, and then I'd get obsessed about that. And I I still occasionally play video games. But yeah, if I was in the mood to like write, then I would I would I would work on it for several hours. And uh, I guess I'm the difference is uh, with my the last this record and the last one is that I'm writing lyrics too and you know I used to just try and uh, you know write song ideas chord changes and guitar parts but um now right, having to write lyrics I feel a little more comfortable this time but it definitely feels like homework to an extent yeah I can imagine like I I play guitar I've never written lyrics or sang before and I feel like it seems like a totally different skill set in a way like finding things that rhyme finding those other melodies like uh, is that something that you feel more comfortable with kind of the, the vocals on this solo album versus um the last one that came out very recently yeah i i feel more comfortable this time around um and if for no other reason well, i'm not saying i'm i'm great at it but i've learned to not care is what, what people think which is usually it's just a worry of like is this lyric that's going to be out there forever a good one or a bad one people are going to make fun of it but uh i tell you i don't make fun of people's lyrics anymore it's, it's, <laughs> and like go write it yourself then if, if, if you're going to do that then see what you come up with um it's not easy so but yeah i felt pretty comfortable and actually I'm, I'm proud of a lot of the lyrics you know when you're doing this record you're doing it you know you're doing it yourself you're producing it how is it for you knowing when the album or the song is done i feel like you could probably spend you know, the next few years tweaking things, adding tracks? How do you sort of know when something's kind of finished? Well, I have more than enough songs on this. I have 16. So, but uh, that kind of snuck up on me. I thought I had like eight or nine songs uh, when I, when, like when I mentioned, when I called in this engineer and producer to help me make, to finish the record and I had more than I thought like that we we finished some ideas that were like I wasn't sure if I even wanted to finish but I kind of forced myself to work on them and some of those are some of the best ones yeah uh it's a it's a weird weird time as far as music I don't know if there's a wrong way to do anything anymore because you could release a 10 song record but people are still just going to pick like one or two songs uh, most people um people like me I appreciate the whole album but I feel like you know, I'm in the minority of, of the world as far as that goes. Gotcha. I mean, I read sort of that you um, you record a lot of kind of song ideas with voice memos. Is that sort of how it worked for this record? I mean, I, I read that you had like hundreds of them kind of going in the last record. I mean, is that something you're kind of constantly kind of working on or ideas popping yeah. in your head? Yeah, I, I still have. I still do that. I think a lot of people do that. But um 
Yeah, I just don't want to forget it because there has been ideas I've forgotten. Sometimes, um, sometimes the rhythm of a, of an idea is is so important too. Because then sometimes the next day you're like, I had this idea with these three chords, but they don't really sound that spectacular right now. Like, what was the rhythm of it? That can be what's what's cool about it, you know. So just record it so you don't forget it. And some of them were were nice surprises that are like, oh, I kind of like this chord change for whatever reason. I'll just start working on it and see where it goes. And that happened with a couple of them that turned out really well. Yeah, I mean, that did a lot of them sort of change sort of when you were recording them, like the arrangements, did you have them kind of set in your head kind of what it would sound like or did you were you kind of open to things? Some of it stayed pretty much the same, but most of it changed quite a bit. Um, either got longer or shorter or whatever. Um, but it's it that's the the fun part is to see how things end up, especially when it is turns out better than you expected. That's a that's that's a great payoff. I think that's something that's hard with a band too. Um, I've been in bands <laughs> before, and it, it's hard to know like between three or four people like you you're playing around with something, and, and then how how long do you work on it before you just move on to something else? Um, if the room isn't feeling it you usually just move on but if you're at home by yourself you can see it through to the end and see where it goes and yeah yeah i imagine like that would be in that aspect of things could be really liberating to kind of be able to kind of follow through on these ideas yeah, yeah it, it it's it definitely is just to just to know that i really like this and i and i'm gonna finish it even if regardless of how many people hear it of course but at least get to finish it. Yeah, definitely. I mean, what what were some of maybe the influences for you going into this this record? Anything like new on your radar or sort of classic stuff or what were you kind of listening to? What? Uh, well, you know, my biggest influence is probably the Smashing Pumpkins. There's a little bit of that, but, you know, the lyric thing was also a big influence too, whether I watched a Sinatra thing you know when you listen to sinatra it's all stories and a big chorus you know yeah that's true that's true i mean you also performed with smashing pumpkins i mean what was it like kind of working with maybe such a huge influence on yourself i actually think i saw you with them maybe in, in new york at webster hall wow cool yeah um well that was just a lot of fun they asked us to do it and i feel like it was like a bucket list thing and i could cross off that i got to do that and uh yeah two songs a lot of fun i mean i was curious also i mean as far as like the live performances uh for you what's it like you kind of singing live i mean because i feel like playing guitar you can sort of hide a little bit more maybe or you know make yeah. noise i feel does it feel more kind of vulnerable for you or do you feel more comfortable with it um obviously i've been touring up no one's been touring lately but so yeah that was a new challenge i even tried to like arrange it a little differently so I could play more and sing more at the same time. But uh, I enjoy singing a little more this time around um, than I maybe did the last time. I think I was so nervous uh, the first time around. And I only started singing because that was the way I could finish these songs rather than like get another singer to do his lyrics. Right. No, that makes sense. That makes sense. I mean, as far as, you know, the killer stuff, is there anything you can say about that? COVID did not make it easy on anybody, I guess. So it wasn't maybe the like, the way we would have wanted to work, but uh, you know, we, we were able to make this album, this concept album. And then we're kind of talking about yet another record after that too. So then, um, and hopefully we'll all, that will be a little more comfortable to work if there's, if time allows us to work. Yeah, though, that's really exciting. And then as far as like, I'm, I'm almost done, but as far as like the new record, I mean, obviously like you've worked with Flood, all these like big producers over the years. I mean, do you feel like it's been like a learning process for you throughout your career and you're able to kind of apply that to your own music now? Yeah, I think I've learned something from, from everybody, even, even band members and even past band members, um, just, just little things here and there, whether it's rhythms or you know you play along to, to different drummers and playing things you wouldn't expect i've sat in a lot of arrangement 
conversations over the years about whether or not to have it too short or long or, or take off a, a verse or whatever. And I guess so, so I've learned a lot about that and heard every side of it. Yeah, I can imagine. I mean, what's sort of the plan, I guess, for this for this album? I, mean, I, I assume you'd want to kind of tour behind these songs. I mean, is that just kind of wait and see? I guess you're in the same boat as everyone else. Yeah, I'm. it's definitely something I want to do. I'm not in a hurry to do it. And I have, I have time, but I for sure want to play out around here at minimum. Um, I'd love to do a tour if, if possible, um, but I, I'll just be happy to play these songs live. Yeah, isn't, I feel like just rolling out an album is changed so much just in the last few years. And I would imagine like, you know, after being on major labels for so long where everything is so planned and regimented, it must be nice to just be able to kind of not have to deal with that and just put something out. It is, it is. And there's definitely no, it's just me doing most of this. So there's not many people to argue with. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Great. Well, thanks so much, David. I, I, I really appreciate you talking to me and I um, appreciate your time and everything. Well, thanks for having me. You got it. Have a good one. You too. Bye-bye.